in like Diddy's case used the monkey flip or something yeah. already, then that's a really good time to punish because they literally just have to take it at that point. Yeah. So we're gonna see Voltstorm versus Fallen. It yeah. Looks like. Voltstorm coming out of nowhere today mm -hmm. to take out some pretty big names. He beat IC earlier, who we just saw beat Terry. Okay. Never, this is his first time in Smash Lounge. He actually knocked me out in Winner's Bracket round one. No, no, he is very, very solid. Uh, I was playing some friendlies with him, and he's doing some good stuff, man. Yeah. Definitely a new player to watch out for, so look out for that name. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's wow. from Japan, I, yeah. I'm getting uh, I'm getting some information from the Hoffman over here. Yeah, he is from Japan. Uh, and I believe he said he lived in uh, Michigan prior or something, something along those lines. But he's a very, very solid player. And it's good to see more Pikachus come out, man. Uh, you don't really see this character at high top level play, despite this character being such a strong character. I know. He's one of the top five in the game. And uh, you don't really see him out there. So Pikachu it's good does have a out. pretty high uh, learning curve to get good with, though. Yeah. He's not an easy character to just go out there and pick up. Yeah. Definitely more unconventional than some of the other characters that we do see in the top tier. Anyways, we're going to go to this game. And right now, it seems like Fallen has a solid understanding of the matchup. He's just, honestly, he's playing patient and waiting for Pikachu to come to him. Yeah. He's punishing these quick attacks really well. And I think that's something that's very important in this matchup. You can't let a Pikachu just run all over you. It's kind of almost like dealing with a Sonic. If you don't understand how to deal with Spin Dash, you don't know how, where it is, then he is just going to go ham. He's just like, okay, I don't have to respect you anymore because I can just run all over you. Yep. So it's really important with characters who have these movement attacks to understand how you're going to beat them so they can't literally and just Luma, run all over you. Yeah, Luma's gone there. It took too many Thunder Jolts. Yep. Good dash attack. Let me see. I do like the patience we're seeing from Volstorm, though. Even though he uh, has a deficit, he hasn't let up, hasn't gone on tilt. He's just trying to play patient. And his fighting is on point. Man. Yeah, he's so good at that. that. Yeah. Okay, the game from there. All right, good up tilt, and he will get the bear. Yeah. Luma ended up extending that hitbox. Yeah. Oh, misses, unfortunate. Getting the Luma punished has been so important. Fallen shading back to protect his Luma. Yeah. <laughs> I must say, I do like the, the Luma jab that Fallen did just to hit the Thunder Jolts yeah, and make sure Luma didn't take enough more damage. You'll see him do that against other uh, yeah. what I'll call fireball characters. So yeah. like, you'll see him do that against Mario. You'll see him do that against Luigi, mm -hmm. against Ryu's Hadouken. Yep. Because Luma's got such priority on that jab that she just punches it out of existence. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much every character, if you time it right, you can jab a lot. Uh, pretty much all these. Ooh. Ooh. That's not going to kill yet. Yeah, but that'll man. do it. Fallen takes the first Great stock. But that card. took three minutes to take the first stock. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see Fallen fall for that one anymore. Yeah. But Luma is gone. Yep. Time for Pikachu to go in. Okay. Edge guard. Goes for the bear. Doesn't get it out of time. But does get the pop up into the up smash for 13%. Back air doesn't end up hitting Luma off. Right. Fallen, for some reason, was predicting the thunder right there. And while that would have killed, I haven't seen him use thunder off of anything except down throw yet. <laughs> yeah. Waited for that roll. But that's definitely a standard that you will see from Pikachu, so I do like the idea from Fallen. Yeah. Ooh, okay. uh-oh. He's going to get, yeah. Good idea. But yeah. Good tech to good B reverse. Yeah. But, of course, that means that Luma is offline, so... It's good. Good for him. Definitely has a chance now to do some damage racking, but uh, seems like he's been hesitating yeah, a little he bit. Yeah, he kind of just waited and Fallen got Luma back pretty much for free right there. Yeah, but he did get this dash attack. Okay. Might get something here. Back on stage, getting there. Oh, he tried to up yeah. smash him. Oh, waits for it. Oh, fortunately, he doesn't get the Thunder, too. Yeah, I'll take getting hit by the uh, spike hitbox of it if I don't get hit by that second. Yeah, right any day. Using the star bits there. Uh, using yeah. Luma to cover his recover, uh, yeah. landing there. No look for grab, does not anything. Because the Pikachu is small uh, stature sometimes, you'll see... You should, some be, some characters just grab right over him. Yeah. Like you'll see that a lot with Captain Falcons. Oh, good. Okay, that's like weird. 
hit on the dash attack there. Yeah, definitely a strong but We move. only have a minute left, and it looks like Fallen's going to stay up there on there and maybe time him out. Yeah, yeah, he's looking at the time. He's trying to make him recognize uh, the issue that he's, the predicament that he's in, which I really like. And if Pikachu's going to stay back there and just throw Thunder Jolts out, then uh, Fallen will be content to take them. Yeah. But I do like the play because I think right now, I think it's... It's going to be kind of hard to go ahead and just time him out, but it's nice to let your opponent realize there's a potential time that can happen. Yeah. Because especially at this level, when players see that, that automatically puts them on tilt. Like, notice how Volstorm is going in like crazy, and instead of him actually getting any damage, Fallen's actually increased, you know, increased the, uh, the deficit. So this is actually really good for him. And, of course, taking all this time, Dangerous to go under the stage right yeah. there, but Fallen's able to get it. Yeah, he's gonna do it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's he, pretty much gonna be it. He's just gonna wait for the timeout, man. He's gonna use that platform to his advantage and yep. just wait for the timeout. Yep. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one. And <laughs> up he's Dude, way up into the sky. That'd be so hilarious if he actually got hit by the top part of and the it ended up killing and him. died. I would laugh so hard. Oh, I think everybody would laugh. Oh, yeah, I'd, I would be dying. So Fallen takes a smart decision there. If the Pikachu's going to sit back and shoot Thunderdolves at you, just wait him out. Yeah. The AC, Hawaii has some solid players, man. Very solid Void. players. Yeah, they work really hard, too. Uh, the only other Hawaii player that I know is a guy who recently moved here named Kevin. Okay. He uh, he plays DK. I guess his name is actually IDK. But yeah. If anybody knows oh, him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Know him, of course. You got a uh, Korean. Korean is actually in the chat. What's going on, Korean? How are you doing? You got Blue Plays Fox. Then we have a uh, Lethal Trilogy. <laughs> These guys, man. I know. I'm reading the chat right now. Yeah. But anyways, let's go on to game two here. Yeah. Shout out to Hawaii overall. We're gonna go on Final Destination. So what do you think about this pick overall for Borshman? Uh Well, it's the stage he took me after I beat him game one. Okay. And he ended up beating me on this stage too. So apparently he seems to like it. Yeah. Not a stage you'll see Pikachu go to a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, normally they're probably going to go to Lilat, but yeah. I have a feeling Fallen probably banned Lilat. Okay. Yeah, you'll definitely see a lot of people ban that stage. A lot of people loathe that stage, man. Do not want to play that. So Pick Fallen's still jabs. playing the patient game here. Good up air. Do his thing. But it does seem like uh, Voltstorm is being much more aggressive this game. We're seeing a lot more quick attacks come in. Uh, and as I say that, he goes back to four Thunder Jolts in a row. Yep. But you know yeah. what? If it's an effective move, might as well use it, right? Yeah. <laughs> he uses the Luma hit instead of getting the damage. Yep. Forward smash. Okay, let's see what he can do here. I'm surprised Fallen didn't just wait for oh, the... Oh, uh, Fallen up there. Uh, Ooh, okay. Stage Good Nair. Let's see what he's going to do here. Bear, I like the idea of Bear. A little too preemptive right there. Yeah, but that definitely delayed. was the right option. Waiting for something. Doesn't get anything. So he goes for a Bear. Yeah, I'm really liking this follow-up game right now that's coming out of Volstorm. Just trying to be patient. Oh, but he's an up smash trying to roll in there. Yeah. Okay. Good attack. Gets Nair. Okay, edge guard. This is the ledge trunk. That's yeah. probably what he was going for. But gets back using that easy quick attack back on stage. And this is looking fairly even at this point. Yeah, both of these characters, because of their weight, die very early. Yeah. So. I would say if you up smash, we'll definitely end the stock. Or and yeah, vice versa. Smash, yeah. Yep. Oh, goes for a dare. Not land. Oh, oh that good. was up cute. Smash. Hits him right out. Yeah, yeah. Visible frustration by Voltstorm. Yeah, right there. because he did not actually mean to get on the stage. So he was actually really upset about that. Going for the down smash when he probably could have got a slightly better yeah, one. Back on. Oh, let's really there. It doesn't really get anything out of it. What's that fair there? Down smash is Pikachu. Yeah, Voltstorm's looking a little on tilt right now, man. He is not looking as crisp as he was earlier. Yeah. And this is something kind of that, this is information that Fallen was able to get from the first uh, first match. Yeah. Just the fact that he recognized that he was going to, uh, when they're going for the timeout, how quickly that making Volstorm recognize there was a timeout, how quickly he went on tilt. Yeah, exactly. And so now he's just pretty much abusing the same kind of effect that Volstorm is just really trying to push forward, 
Dually sings. And nope. Gets hit by an air. Yeah, it's so important that you keep your calm as a player. Yeah. Because once you start to get angry, you start not thinking, you start doing suboptimal punishes. Uh, just, you really got to keep your cool. Yeah. But it's not looking good for Voltstorm right now. He's almost been lapped. An up smash, even an up tilt from Luma at this point might even kill it. Yeah. I think good back air. What do we get from here? Up smash? Yep. Yeah, he up smashed, but it was a good clash. Yeah. Oh, goes for a dash attack on the landing. That definitely would have ended oh, with yeah. a stock. But this is looking pretty bad. Yeah. Good. Looks like he hit him with Luma there. And Voltstorm goes down. But good showing to Voltstorm for yeah. his first tournament, making it this far. Very impressive. Yeah. All props to him. Yeah, he's a very, very, very good player. Yeah. All right. So who do we have coming up here next? Winners finals. Winners finals. All right, guys. We we'll check out winners finals. It's gonna be up. And we are going to have Ito versus Void. Please, guys, go and tweet this out. Let the people know what is going on. We're gonna have a hype matchup for you guys. So Ito right and Void played at SSS, correct? Yes, it did. Okay.